Hi guys, this is Miso here with Miso Making It. Welcome to my kitchen. And today we're going to be making cubed steak. Uh, it's got to be quick and simple. And so I just want you to come along with me while I do it. I have here my cubed steak. They're already thawed. This, a package of cubed steak, was um, $3.17. There are two cube steaks in this pack. This package was $2.99. And there are two uh, cube steaks in this pack. And this package was $3.90. And I have three in there. So I have seven cube steaks for um, a little bit less than $10. Let's go ahead, and I'm gonna start by getting them seasoned up and then we'll get them on. Okay, guys, now I have my meat here. It's already washed and I have some flour that I've made and in the flour, I have put already these seasonings, the lemon pepper, onion powder, granulated garlic, black pepper, and the Goya all-purpose seasoning. You know, those are my usual suspects. I use them in just about everything. So I've already placed all that in the flour. And normally, if I'm making a big batch of something, I don't um, put the seasoning in the flour. I like to put it directly on the meat because in the flour, I feel that you just waste seasoning because you're gonna be throwing some of this flour away. But I'm gonna probably make gravy with whatever flour I have left. So, and this is just a little batch. So I'm gonna go ahead use um, it in my flour, the seasoning in my flour. I have here a glass dish that I'm going to cook the meat in in the oven. Now you can fry your cube steak certainly, but I find that if you cook it in the oven, and I'm going to go ahead and just get this in the flour, if you cook this in the oven that uh, the, uh, on low, well it doesn't have to be low, you can even cook it on like 350, but they just get a whole lot more tender when you cook them in the oven. And also, you don't have to play nursemaid. You don't have to stand there with it, popping grease all over your stove and turning it over and watching, to, watching it to make sure that it doesn't get too brown. You can just, what does Ron Popeil say? You can just set it and forget it. And that's the kind of cooking that I love, where I don't have to stand over a dish. I can just put it on and go on and do something else. My life I'm, is like your life, I'm sure. Because there's always something else to do. So no matter if I've done everything, do you know I still have something else to do? It's just no such thing as getting everything done when you run a household. And um, some of you ladies with small children or with children, I really look at you with all awe and respect because I don't know how you do it. If you're holding down a job, and cooking and cleaning and raising your families. You don't know how much work that is unless you've done it. So I just give you props and respect. And you see here how I'm putting this meat in. Let me see if I can make it where you can get where I can get it in the picture. I'm putting this meat into the dish, and the dish is not large enough. Um, it's because it's not important. I would have gotten one larger if I really needed it. It's not large enough to lay this meat down. Single layer, you know, not touching. Not important to do that. So I'm just putting it in here and I am letting it touch. So, just about got it all in. Cause it's not gonna matter a lot, especially if I put the gravy on it. So you see here, I just have a very small space. And I'm gonna just go ahead and lay that right in that corner. Just wanna get this out a little bit. And it's okay that they are touching. That's gonna be just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this into a 350 degree oven. I'm gonna let them cook for about um, maybe 40 minutes. I'll check on them then, and then we'll get them out and put our gravy on it. We'll be back. Okay guys, so you see that I've gotten the cube steaks out of the um, oven, and they are really done. Um, 
but I've got them out of the oven. You'll see little places where you see flour on them. That's all right, because I'm going to put some gravy on them. And what I want to do is just, uh, here I want to just put, loosen these from the pan so that they're not stuck down to the pan. I just want to loosen them a little bit. And then I'm going to get my gravy. down on top of them. Okay, so here I have some water. This is about four cups of water. I'm gonna just put the same flour that was left over that I used to bread my cubed steak with. And I'm just going to use my wire whisk just to get all of that flour incorporated getting out any lumps, any kind of hard places in the flour. I want it smooth because of course, we do want the gravy to be smooth. I didn't, I'm not gonna add any more seasoning to this uh, water and flour mixture because you know that the flour already has seasoning, seasoning in it from where I um, seasoned the meat. So this is, seems to be smooth. So we're gonna get back over here to our meat and we're gonna just pour. Yep, we're gonna cover that meat. Okay, so we've got this done. And all we're gonna do is to pop it back into that 350 degree oven. Oh, I didn't tell you, this had been cooking for 40 minutes. We took it out, we put the gravy mixture on it and we're gonna put it back in and let it cook for about another 15, just until this thickens and it becomes nice and bubbly. We have our oven preheated to 350 degrees. Hey guys, uh, take a look at this. I just popped this out of the oven and it looks great. So it's still bubbly hot. Um, the gravy is nice and thick. You can see it here. Uh, I have thick gravy, see that gravy? Really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna be serving this up, but try this recipe, you'll love it. It's so flavorful. Mm. Right now, I'm just tasting the gravy that's on the fork. Very flavorful, absolutely great. Try this recipe. Hey, here, I just wanted to come in and show you this meal plated up and how I paired everything together. So this is Big Daddy's plate, and here you see I have the um, cube steak with gravy. I put some rice with it, and I have gravy on the rice. I do have some turnip greens. This is um, acorn squash. I have some crescent rolls. Here I just have a sweet potato patty and a half ear of boiled pork. Gonna be great. Guys, thank you for watching my channel. Those of you who have subscribed, thank you very much. Those of you that who haven't subscribed and you like my videos, hit that red button down there that says subscribe. Thank you for watching and come back to my kitchen because you know on a daily basis I'm always throwing down. Bye.